Okay, before I start today's video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel. So literally this is just an update video today just to make people aware that we're now on RetroArch 1.19.1 and quite literally this is just fix one thing in this little minor update if we just go down to the change log uh, you're going to see in the bullet point uh, WASAPI or WASAPI only write when running and fix deadlock so you can check more of that on the website itself and what that's actually going to do uh, now it wasn't very long ago that I actually did a brief update guide to the latest at the time 1.19.0 19.0 and on that update I also continued to upload a video which shows you how to actually update from your current retro arch to the most current so what I'm going to do is actually leave that link in my description updating retro arch to another release a new stable version isn't as simple as just pressing a couple of buttons within RetroArch. So anyway, that does it for this little update video. Like I said, a very brief and short but sweet video. So anyone out there who enjoys this video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And if you are new to my channel, I cover many different front end systems and I've got an entire playlist for RetroArch, including a very detailed hour long episode where I show you how to customize RetroArch and do a ridiculous amount of things with it. I'll also leave that one in my description. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.